Today I'm sharing another coffee table flip and furniture painting tips that I've learned from YouTube. It's Mindy and let's get started. Here is the coffee table I found on Facebook Marketplace for $20. It's pretty simple so it took me a bit of time to figure out how I wanted to make it over. <laughs> As usual, the first step is cleaning, which is always my first tip. Do not skip this step no matter how clean furniture looks. You have to remove any dirt and or grease, even with paints that say no prep for lasting adhesion. With this table, I decided to use hot water and Dawn dish soap as my cleaner instead of the harsh TSP. I even pulled out my putty knife to get into all the grooves and then used a clean rag to wipe off any excess soap when I was all done. I did a light scuff sanding on just the tabletop for a little extra paint holding power because this is a frequently used surface. And of course, you have to wipe off all that sanding dust. I decided on a two-tone look for this coffee table, so I taped off the sides of the tabletop before painting the base. I tried out a new paint brand that I'm loving called Retique It. You may have heard of their liquid wood product, which makes surfaces look like real wood, but they also have chalk style paints in lots of colors. And this is just a black. I've been creating a little stash of <laughs> plastic food containers just so I can use for paint projects. This paint went on so smooth and leveled out beautifully with almost non-existent brush marks. And I did use a synthetic brush to paint with this since I wanted a smooth, modern finish. Painting over these rounded edges might have been easier with a foam brush, but I went with it and it worked out just fine. Here's a tip that I use all the time for just about every paint project and that's using a Ziploc bag to save your paintbrush for the next coat. I only recommend doing this though if you're going to repaint on the same day. And another tip I love, which also is recommended by Retique It, is to spray a little bit of water in your paint and on your paintbrush to get a really smooth finish. This is also a technique I've seen used in other YouTube channels. And who doesn't love a good tape paint peel?
For the tabletop, I use this folk art chalk paint in the color linen. I thinned this one out as well because I know firsthand how thick it is, which can make it hard to spread evenly. This covered really well in just two coats and again I'm using that synthetic brush for a nice smooth finish. The tricky part here was getting the rounded edge without getting the linen color onto the black but here's what I came up with. It's just a piece of poster board with painter's tape on one edge. It worked out okay, but I did have to do some touch-ups. I'm loving this paper bag trick, using it as a fine sandpaper to get a smooth finish between each coat of paint and this just kind of smooths out those brush marks. Again, I was paying extra attention to the top surface because it will be used the most. I wanted to give this table a little extra detail so I added a stencil to each corner using a slightly darker color and it's very subtle but it's a nice little detail. I also sanded after each top coat of water-based polyurethane, which is what I used, and I did three coats over the whole table. For the top, I used a foam brush to get, again, that nice smooth finish. So here is the coffee table before, once again. And here is the after. I'm loving the two-tone look and that subtle detail on the corners. Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments. I've also linked to a bunch of my favorite furniture makeover channels in the description box, so go ahead and check those out for more tips. I'm sure you'll learn a lot from them. Go ahead and give this video a like if you wanna see more furniture flips. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.